Today we're going to be looking at two ways to add virtual sharps for dimensioning. So the first way to add in virtual sharps is to use the control method. And the second one is to already have the smart dimension tool active when you right click on an entity and say find intersection. Now before we look at both of those methods, I'm going to come up here to the top into my options. In my options, I'm going to go over to my document properties and click on virtual sharps. Now the virtual sharps is going to give us five different options for how we want to show the virtual sharp uh, notation in our drawing. So I have witness star plus dot none. I'm going to go ahead and say, change it up and say star. Now the first way we'll do this is using the control method. I'm going to zoom in here towards where this fillet is. I'm going to click one line, hold down control and click another line. And these were both left clicks. Up here at the top in the sketch tab, I'm going to add a point. The point is going to automatically find the intersection between these two lines and add in my virtual sharp. From there, I can use my smart dimension tool, smart dimension this to let's say this, and I have my dimension. Now, the second way we'll take a look at how to add a virtual sharp is to already be using the smart dimension tool when we right click and say find intersection. So I'm going to go over to my smart dimension tool, right click on the sketch line that we used before and say find intersection. Now I'm going to left click on the straight line, vertical line here, and then it automatically adds in that virtual sharp and I'm already inside my smart dimension tool for me to go ahead and add that same dimension I was trying to add earlier.